What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over seven Google Ads budgeting tips and forecasting tips so you can get the most out of your campaign and really the most out of what you're spending on Google Ads. So to get started, the number one tip I can give you is to use conversion tracking. So if you're using conversion tracking, that's the best way to efficiently spend your budget so you understand the conversion value you're actually driving from your Google Ads campaign. So if we come over to my Google Ads search campaign right here, you can see I'm spending $10 per day, but over the last seven days, if we scroll over, you can see I've spent $73.81. I've driven 46 conversions for a conversion value of $46. So my conversion value is actually less than my cost. So this is not a profitable campaign right now. So what that means is I either need to lower my budget or what I need to do is expand my targeting so I can get more out of my campaign and hopefully increase my conversion value. So what you wanna do is go to tools and settings here and you wanna to go to measurement and conversions and that's gonna bring you to the conversion actions page. And what you can do here is create new conversion actions or make sure you're optimizing for your existing conversions. The best way to get the most out of Google Ads is to use conversion tracking and to continue to optimize your campaigns over time. So if we come back over here, if you want to spend your budget efficiently, you need to understand how your campaign is performing. I'm going to create a separate video about conversion tracking and conversion values and really everything you need to know about that. But for right now, what you really want to do is if you want to spend your budget efficiently, you want to use conversion tracking. So that's tip number one. Now tip number two is to focus on your monthly results. And what you really want to do is set a monthly budget ahead of time and then use that monthly budget divided by 30.4 to set your daily budget. So you can see right here, if I had a $1,500 monthly budget, that means my daily budget should be $49.34. So if we come over to our calculator here and you can see I was just doing it in here, but if you have any budget you set, so if you have $2,000 budget, all you wanna do is take that budget, divide it by 30.4 and click on equals and that's what you want your daily budget to be around. Now if you say, I know I wanna spend $25 per day, then take that number, multiply it by 30.4, click on equals, and that's how much you're gonna spend for the month. So if we come over to my campaign and I scroll over, I have a $10 daily budget set. So you can see in February, I won't be charged more than $304 for this campaign. So the way Google Ads works is when you set your budget, Google is really looking at driving you the most conversions over the course of a month. So they're gonna to try to get the most out of each individual day, but if you're changing your budget and going up way too much too often or going up and down and kind of bouncing all over the place, it's gonna hurt your overall results with Google Ads because what Google Ads is doing is saying, okay, today we're gonna to spend $8.79 because we think we can actually drive more conversions based on historical data on Saturday where we're gonna spend $13.30. And you'll see bigger swings the higher your budget is. So if you have a $500 daily budget, you might spend $600 one day and you might spend $400 the next. So what you wanna do is make sure you're focusing more on your monthly results and you don't wanna be changing your budget too often. I would highly recommend keeping your budget pretty similar and if you are gonna increase it or decrease it, do it gradually. So go from $10 to $15, from 15 to 20. Don't go from $10 to 50 back down to 10 because all you're doing is messing with Google Ads and how much they're planning on spending for your campaign over the course of a month and it's gonna hurt your conversion results. Okay, so next is gonna be tip number three. So for tip number three, you can use the forecast tool in the Google Keyword Planner. All you need to do is make sure you have a keyword list. You need to choose your match type, set the conversion stats for your overall website, and then review your forecast. So if we come over here and we click on tools and settings, we go to planning and we open the keyword planner. You can see I have it open here. What we wanna do is click on get search volume and forecasts and we wanna paste our keyword list here. So if I come over, I have my keyword list open here in this Microsoft Excel file. I've copied the entire thing. So we're gonna copy it, come back over and we're gonna paste this and we're gonna click on get started. So first what it's gonna show you is the keywords that we entered, average monthly searches, three month change, and you get all this data over here. But what you wanna do over on the left hand side is click on forecast. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna create a draft plan campaign. The bid strategy is going to be maximize clicks and we're looking at forecast data for next month. So I'm filming this video right now, it's February, 2022. So it's giving me forecast data for March, 2022. And you can see here it's showing if I have a $10 average daily budget, 
I can get 270 conversions for $310. My total conversion value would be $290. My total cost would be $310. So let's change the data around a little bit and let's set our match types. So the first thing we wanna do is we have all of our keywords here. We wanna click on show rows 500 so we can select all of our keywords at once. We're gonna select all of them, edit our match type and choose phrase match. Okay, so I'm gonna plan on targeting phrase match keywords so you can see our conversion value actually went down slightly. But what we wanna do next is if we click right here, you can see conversion rate and value per conversion. So let's just say for example, my conversion rate historically is 7%. And let's just say my value per conversion is $5. So we'll do 7% and $5 and click on save. So right now what it's showing is my conversion value would be $530 and my cost would be $310. So what we can do is say, okay, let's say I wanna spend $50 per day. So we'll set it at $50 per day and you can see this chart right here. You can actually adjust it. So it's gonna adjust your average daily budget and show you how many conversions you can get but if I'm choosing a $50 average daily budget, it's saying I'm gonna spend 1.6 thousand, my conversion value will be around 1500, my return on ad spend will actually be less than my break even point, so I'm technically not making money on this campaign, but let's just say my value per conversion is $7, let's say my conversion rate is $8, we click on save. You can adjust all of this data to understand what you're gonna get out of your campaign. So in that case, my conversion value would be around $2,300. My cost would be $1,500. So if you say, okay, I need to drive 1,000 conversions, we click on 1,000. What you're gonna see here is my campaign is not gonna be profitable if I wanna drive 1,000 conversions every single month. But this is all very helpful data to understand where you should set your average daily budget. So a $370 average daily budget, not gonna be optimal for me, but something like $50 might be based on the conversion rate and value per conversion I entered and the keywords I plan on targeting. So tip number three, use the forecast tool to kind of understand what you can get out of a search campaign. Tip number four is gonna be a quick one. I've already went over this. You're gonna have some daily over delivery and under delivery. Some days your budget will be overspent and Google Ads does this to improve performance. So if we come over, you saw I showed you before, my cost this past Saturday was $13.30. And if we just look over here, this past Thursday, $8.79. Over here, we have $10.31. So it's gonna vary how much of your budget it's Google Ads is spending every single day, which is why you don't wanna have huge budget swings because essentially you're hurting your overall performance by changing your budget too often. So what I would recommend is if you do wanna change your budget, I would give it at least a week. So up it to $15, give it a week, see how your performance is, then maybe go up to $20 the following week. You don't wanna have these different swings because you're gonna have some daily over delivery and under delivery. So tip number five is shared budgets. So you can actually use shared budgets if you're running multiple campaigns. And really to take it a step further, what Google Ads recommends you do if you're using shared budgets is to link your shared budgets to portfolio bid strategies. I'm not gonna be going over that in this specific video, but this is the best way to get the most efficient performance out of your account. I'll put this link in the video description so you can read more about it. But what you can do is if we come over to Google Ads, we click on tools and settings here and we go to shared library, we can click on shared budgets. So in shared budgets, we can create a new shared budget. And what we can do here is if we click on this campaign and let's just say I wanna share this campaign's budget with this campaign over here, I can select both of these and it's gonna say my total budget is $11 shared across two campaigns. So we click on save and you can see right here, my shared budget example, my daily budget $11. So I can adjust this. So let's just say I want to share a budget of $25. So between those two campaigns, my budget is now gonna be $25. So I would obviously have to activate the other campaign, but if we come back over to my campaigns, you can see my average is $12.50 per day for this campaign. But what's gonna happen is if one campaign is underspending, then Google Ads will spend more on this campaign. You will get the most out of your budgets if you do link your shared budget to your portfolio bid strategy. So keep that in mind. But Number five, you can use shared budgets if you wanna make sure you're spending a minimum amount of, let's say $25 per day, $50 per day, even if it has to be split between different campaigns. So that's another option you have when you are setting your budgets and trying to figure out how much you're spending on different campaigns. Okay, so tip number six, recommended budgets. So Google Ads will recommend budgets that can help you improve your performance. So let's come back over to our campaign here 
and let's just come back to our standard ten dollar budget okay so I went into settings and just set this back to ten dollars per day and you can see my status is limited by budget so what you can do is click on limited by budget so if you come over here and this actually just got rid of my option to look at the best budget for my campaign but if you do go to optimization score you click on your optimization score here you're gonna see limited by budget at the top if you do have that message there and you're gonna see this little graph icon the budget Explorer so when you click on budget Explorer you're gonna see I get an error message at the bottom here but as you collect more data for your campaign and obviously this is why you don't want to change your budgets all the time when you do click on this it's gonna bring up a graph and set a recommended budget for you now just to give an example of budget Explorer I found an example in this article three smartest ways to spend your Google ad credits on search engine journal.com so if we open up the picture when you do click on budget Explorer it's gonna open up a prompt that looks like this one here at the bottom where you can see their current budget is ten dollars actually the same one my campaign is so ten dollars they show a twenty three dollar daily budget will add 19 clicks lower the average CPC by 12 cents and the weekly cost will be 91 additional dollars and then if they go up to a daily budget of thirty six dollars which Google Ads recommends it'll add 38 clicks drop the average CPC by 15 cents and add a weekly cost of hundred and eighty two dollars so just wanted to give a quick example of what the budget Explorer looks like so using recommended budgets the more data that Google Ads gathers they're gonna say okay we can drive the same amount of conversions at the same cost up to this daily budget so for example if I'm only spending ten dollars per day but Google Ads says if you spend twenty five dollars per day you're gonna get the same exact performance that's what you're gonna see when you do click on limited by budget here or you click on the optimization score and click up here on the graph that will show you what the optimal daily budget is for your campaign as long as you're kind of looking for the same exact results and then you can also see how your campaign will perform with higher or lower budgets so another option is to use recommended budgets if I didn't change my shared budget bid or my shared budgets in the previous step I would be able to show you how mine looked but it recommended a daily budget of $14 for me so basically that means they can drive the same performance at $14 per day as they do at $10 per day last but not least and this is really more of a personal preference here but what you're trying to do is on average over the course of a month you should be driving two plus conversions per day so basically over a 30-day period if you're driving at least 60 conversions that allows Google Ads to really optimize your campaign much better than if for example you're driving 20 conversions over a 30-day period so what you want to do is you see my budget is ten dollars per day if we come over here and you can see my cost per conversion over the previous seven days is a dollar sixty if I set my daily budget at three dollars per day I'm only driving maybe one maybe two conversions every single day so it's much more difficult for Google Ads to optimize my campaign then for example if I'm driving 46 conversions over a seven day period if you're using target return on ad spend bidding most campaign types need at least 15 conversions over the past 30 days and the more conversions you drive and the more conversion value you give to Google Ads the better results you're ultimately going to get out of your Google Ads campaigns so this is more of a personal preference and I just think it really helps when it comes to optimization so for example if you're if it costs you fifty dollars per conversion your daily budget should be at least one hundred dollars this is my opinion I just think it helps with overall performance now you can try to drive more conversions at a lower cost over time but the more conversion data you give Google the better your campaigns will perform so these are seven budgeting and forecasting tips for Google Ads hopefully they're helpful hopefully it gave you some different ideas to optimize your campaigns ultimately conversion tracking is vital for setting the most efficient budget for your business if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.